All right. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new pre-market analysis. It's 6.55 a.m. We're here. And as usual, we're ready for it. So let's dive into it. And let's take a look at what happened. So Friday, as you know, quite a decisive candle. Yesterday, we got above that high of that wick, left a quite a large wick, closed bearish, but yes, it was bank holiday in Europe, so there wasn't a lot of volume in the market. Slow day. Uh, and really, we just reacted from up here of this liquidity, got up the, above the previous daily high Friday, and then price turned around. And yeah, that, that's really it. We can see price trickling down, but this leg doesn't have that much liquidity. So both upside and downside are still valid targets. Um, we did take previous daily highs already, uh, previous daily lows. Previous daily high is still being intact, but I'm more interested in this low. Why? We had that minor break there. I still feel like we are we can follow that structure that's going on here. Um, So break, the discount pricing. This leg doesn't hold that much liquidity, so that's why I'm interested in these lows. Um, Plus, last week we had to push to the upside. We are inside the premium, so I feel like we should aim for uh, the lows now. In addition to that, we have that new slow here and new slow here, which usually get taken out. One second, as well. And they're currently positioned as external range liquidity. And yeah, so I feel like these lows can be taken out soon. Um, but before, uh, to in order to do that, we need to see some bearish momentum. And we currently don't have that bearish momentum yet. So we have both upside and downside potential for you. What I will be looking at is, okay, we took these highs. We've got some... internal range liquidity here. So potential short area would be from here. This one getting low. We took these highs here. This area holds some nice liquidity to it over here. Oops. There we go. Got a nice order block inside there. Take all these candles actually. Actually don't even need to mark it out. We just wait for price to get above this liquidity point and then we look for shorts. I'm not looking for longs. Um, and you already know why, because we are inside that high time frame premium area we are above old highs um there's no bullish how to say it, bullish demand zone there's no demand zone we can trade from so i have no interest in longs although we take took previous daily lows and i'm looking to law uh for a short from this area so a valid long trade would be Asia lows, previous daily highs, or Asia highs, internal range liquidity into the supply zone, and then short from there. But this long trade for me feels like low probability because we have this bearish range. Um, we have the news lows, and we are above, we are above previous daily highs, above previous weekly highs. Well, not this week's previous weeks but before that we are above internal range liquidity we're above old highs so ideally we're just looking for price to drop 
one thing I've got to check is sorry, let me know. So we got some cat news today, some medium news on Euro and nothing major on EU, but some GU news later tonight. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So yeah, for EU, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm looking to short from this area and I'm looking to short from above here. Um, And of course, in the high entire frame, we're targeting these lows. We could look for a potential long from this area, but, but sorry, I don't know. Because if price gets that momentum here, it starts to thrust down, then, um, then these 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 lows will be taken out probably because then these lows are on the cards, and we follow the high type of structure. So then this area. This area becomes a low probability area to long from GU. GU took already took previous weekly highs. That's nice. Of course, only it's not it's only nice if it lines up with DXY, but those been taken out. Then previous daily high up here. Previous daily low. Uh, this is Sunday, right? Yeah. Previous daily low down there. She can see what's ranging as well. Whoa. Damn. Didn't know if it changed loadout like that. And it's got Asia highs up here. Asia lows down there. And GU, um, GU is actually looking quite good for shorts, although there's not really a um, bearish break yet. And there's no proper supply zone. We have this order block here. And if we include that gap there, which we can mark out with this. Then we have liquidity. It's probably in the five minute, yeah. Essentially above that high. And we have a lot of liquidity building up now to the downside. So, and we already took this. So for a GU, a nice trade will come from this area into these lows, taking out this low, maybe. Um. Got to check out. So that's not on the other ones where it looks like a bearish break and a bullish break. So bullish continuation. Okay, so there's a bit different. Hmm. Why is it always confusing? Why can't they just give a normal chart? Sorry for my nose. Shit. Noticing that I'm doing it the whole time. Um, so for still for GU, I feel like after taking these previous weekly highs, we could take Asia high. Uh move from this area. Other than that, I would wait for previous week daily highs to be taken out as well, and then look for a potential short high time frame wise into the range liquidity. Bearish lag, just like EU. You are inside the premium, so I'm remove that. I had that inducement break there, took into the range liquidity there, took into the range liquidity there. So GU is really in a nice area 
to look for shorts, and that's the reason why I'm not trying to wait for a bearish break here. I try to anticipate on a slightly low probability move, or actually a high probability move, but with less confluences, I don't wait for the proper break now on the 15th for realignment. Yes, a trade could not play out in our favor, but with that, with that, um, I just say with the liquidity here and with the high time frame confluences, we might not need a break to move from that area. Um, but GU will probably well, I will give some moves today, but especially after this move, we will see a lot of uh lot of movement. Um yeah, so EU that's yeah, all pretty straightforward to me. Shorts from this area, shorts from up here, GU. Shorts from this area, shorts from up here, DXY. DXY, already giving those moves, so see. It's not still impulsive, um, bearish candles, but I feel like this is ready to turn around as well and move higher now. So same for DXY, I'm looking at high price, and it's just not looking as clean as, as uh, EU and GU. But we can pretty much draw this out. Put that high. Uh, yeah, yeah, not much to cover. These are the areas I'm looking at, and yeah, just like I said, my forecast, I'm looking at lower price, and so I'm trying to get in a move to get lower. And I'm strongly bearish biased, so I'm not willing to look for shorts based on the higher time frame conferences. Yeah. It's a pretty short one. I uh, don't have much to cover. Got some clear areas here. Um, still have that high there. Not really interested in that anymore. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, anything else I want to cover? No, not really. Yes, we know that this was quite correctional. This entire move, this entire move is quite correctional, but it's picking up its momentum here. It took liquidity here, so we might now get that continuation because this was quite correctional as well. Only momentum stepped in over here, but then for now, we only wicked above. It never shows any strong signs of bearish continuation yet so although we've got to be careful that it's because it's still possible with these candles the way they're formed look at this up there slow down and essentially the bearish man or something mm. yeah let's see let's see let's see let's see sometimes price needs a little extra time before it can move as you can see over here Go up here. Actually started to close candles above there, but just about and then push down saying finally there to there liquidity here. You can see over here. Okay, so we have the bullish range. We have that internal range liquidity over here. Let me zoom in. So this is just using a past price action for future reference. Um, see that if the bullish break never been a strong break. Look at how correction this price action is. We got a buff there. Trickle down. 
even faster than the way it got up. Took internal range liquidity. And look how long it take took to turn around. But Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, we always have um what's it called? Job claims and that kind of stuff. And that's where it pushed. Finally got the push, slow down, and then a week after that, we started to. So this entire move took about an entire month or half a month to play out two, three weeks. So we've just got to be patient here, see what price does before we take any any trades. Well, we try to get in a move, but we have to wait for price to give us any signs of bearish continuation. And we wait for that. Yeah, nothing else to cover today. So I wish you guys good luck in the market. Got any questions, let me know. Uh, catch you guys later. Peace out.